Gary Cooper, known for his authentic and laid-back acting style, was a prominent figure in Hollywood during the mid-19s. With his chiseled features and impressive screen presence, he became one of the most famous movie stars of his time. His career spanned 36 years, during which he not only captured audiences' hearts on screen, but also left a lasting impression behind the scenes. The actor's work continues to be celebrated and admired to this day, a testament to his enduring impact on the film industry. Gary Cooper, the actor known for his authentic and laid-back acting style, chiseled features, and stoic demeanor, became the embodiment of the lonely American hero in motion pictures. His career highlights include five Academy Award nominations and a string of iconic roles that have left a lasting impact on the film industry. In Mr. Deeds Goes to Town, Cooper played a small town man who inherits a vast fortune and must navigate the complexities of high society. His portrayal of a humble and honest individual caught up in a whirlwind of wealth and power resonated with audiences and earned him his first Academy Award nomination. Meet John Doe saw Cooper take on the role of a down on his luck everyman who becomes the face of a grassroots political movement. The film explored themes of populism and the power of the media with Cooper's stoic and sincere performance at the heart of the story. Sergeant York, based on the true story of a World War I hero, earned Cooper his second Academy Award. His portrayal of a humble and religious man who becomes a decorated war hero was a testament to his ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and nuance. The pride of the Yankees saw Cooper take on the role of baseball legend Lou Jerry, who was diagnosed with a fatal illness at the height of his career. Cooper's portrayal of Jerry's strength and determination in the face of adversity earned him his third Academy Award nomination. High Noon, a classic western, saw Cooper at his stoic best as a marshal who must face down a gang of outlaws alone. The film's themes of courage and isolation struck a chord with audiences and earned Cooper his fourth Academy Award nomination. Throughout his career, Cooper's authentic and understated style made him a beloved figure in Hollywood. His ability to convey the quiet strength and determination of the lonely American hero has left a lasting impact on the film industry and continues to inspire actors today. Gary Cooper, a respected actor in Hollywood, found himself in a difficult position during the Cold War era. The U.S. government's Hollywood witch hunts, aimed at rooting out suspected communists, put many in the film industry under scrutiny. Cooper chose to cooperate with the investigations, providing names of colleagues he believed might have communist ties. Despite this, Cooper's career took a hit, and he became associated with the controversial investigations. However, the actor made a triumphant comeback with the classic film High Noon in 1952. The film tells the story of a town marshal who stands up to a gang of outlaws, despite the townspeople turning their backs on him. Interestingly, High Noon was written by Carl Foreman, who was later blacklisted due to his refusal to testify before the House Un-American Activities Committee. Despite the controversy surrounding Foreman, Cooper stood by the film and its writer, refusing to disassociate himself from it. Cooper's decision to stand by High Noon and its blacklisted writer demonstrated his commitment to artistic freedom and his belief in the importance of the film's message. The actor's actions were a bold move in a time when many in Hollywood were hesitant to associate with those who had been blacklisted. In the end, Cooper's decision to stand by High Noon and its writer paid off. The film was a critical and commercial success, earning Cooper an Academy Award for Best Actor. The actor's comeback was complete and he had solidified his place as a Hollywood legend. Gary Cooper, a debonair ladies man off screen, led a life that contrasted sharply with his heroic on screen image. The actor, known for his rugged good looks and charm, was a favorite among women and men alike. Standing at six foot three inches tall, Cooper maintained a weight of 185 pounds, giving him a commanding presence. His light brown wavy hair and vibrant blue eyes only added to his attractiveness. Despite his heroic roles in films such as High Noon and Sergeant York, Cooper was known for his love of high society and his many romantic conquests. He was often seen at the most exclusive parties and events, rubbing shoulders with the rich and famous. Cooper's off-screen persona was a far cry from the strong, silent types he played on screen. He was known for his wit and charm, and he had a way of making women feel special. Despite his many romantic conquests, Cooper was never married leading to much speculation about his personal life. Despite the contrast between his on-screen 
and off-screen personas, there is no denying the impact that Cooper had on the film industry. He was a true Hollywood legend, and his films continue to be watched and enjoyed by audiences today. His rugged good looks and charming personality have made him a classic leading man, and his legacy lies on in the many films he left behind. Gary Cooper, the actor known for his straightforward and honest demeanor, brought a unique American handsomeness to the screen that helped him stand out from the glamour of other film heroes. Throughout his career, he played a variety of roles that showcased his versatility as an actor. By 1945, Cooper had already appeared in 64 feature films, taking on a wide range of characters. He played poets and sheriffs, playboys and soldiers, scientists and spies, professors and adventurers, and even cowboys. Each role required a different set of skills and a different approach, and Cooper rose to the challenge every time. In some films, he was the strong and silent type, letting his actions speak louder than words. In others, he was more talkative, using his charm and wit to win over audiences. He could play the hero or the villain, the leading man or the supporting character. No matter what role he was given, Cooper always brought a sense of authenticity and honesty to his performances. One of the reasons for Cooper's success was his ability to connect with audiences. He had a down-to-earth quality that made him relatable even when he was playing larger-than-life characters. He conveyed a sense of decency and integrity that resonated with viewers, and his good looks didn't hurt either. Cooper's versatility as an actor was evident in the range of genres he worked in. He appeared in westerns, war films, comedies, dramas, and more. He worked with some of the biggest directors and stars of his time, and his films remain classics to this day. Despite his success, Cooper remained humble and grounded. He never forgot where he came from, and he always stayed true to himself. He was a true professional, always prepared, and always ready to give his best. In the end, it was Cooper's straightforwardness and honesty that made him a star. He brought a sense of authenticity to every role he played, and he connected with audiences in a way that few actors ever have. His legacy continues to this day, and his films remain a testament to his talent and his enduring appeal. Gary Cooper, the actor known for his understated style, achieved immense fame not only for his acting ability, but also for his romantic escapades with various Hollywood stars. Among them were Lupe Velez, Marlena Dietrich, Grace Kelly, and Patricia Neal. Despite his dismissive attitude towards his success and acting as a mere craft, Cooper's subtle and naturalistic performances struck a chord with audiences. His portrayal of heroes who let their deeds speak for themselves resonated with many, embodying the notion that true heroism lies in actions, not words. Lupe Velez, the fiery Mexican actress, was one of Cooper's early loves. Their tumultuous relationship was marked by passion and drama, much like their on-screen personas. Cooper then moved on to Marlena Dietrich, the German-born Hollywood icon, with whom he shared a deep and intense connection. Later in his career, Cooper became involved with Grace Kelly, the elegant and sophisticated actress who would later become Princess of Monaco. Their affair was brief but intense, and it was rumored that Cooper was heartbroken when Kelly left him for her future husband. Patricia Neal, the talented and award-winning actress, was Cooper's final love interest. Their relationship was marked by mutual respect and admiration, and they remained close friends even after their romantic involvement ended. Throughout his career, Cooper's personal life often overshadowed his professional achievements. However, his ability to convey complex emotions and character traits through subtle gestures and expressions made him a beloved and enduring figure in Hollywood. His legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Gary Cooper, born Frank James Cooper in Helena, Montana, was the son of an English farmer turned lawyer and judge. After attending school in England for a few years, he returned to Montana during World War I. When Cooper was 13, he was involved in a car accident that left him with an injured hip, leading to his distinctive stiff, slightly off-balance walking style. To help with his recovery, he took up horseback riding as therapy, which would later become a trademark of his on-screen persona. This classic actor's perseverance and determination in overcoming his injury became the foundation of his successful career in Hollywood. Gary Cooper, born Frank James Cooper in 1901, had a unique educational and career path before becoming a famous actor. He attended Grinnell College in Iowa, where he studied for three years but never received a degree. 
Instead, he returned to his family's ranch in Montana, managing it, and contributing cartoons to a local newspaper. In 1924, Cooper decided to try his luck in Los Angeles. Initially, he sought work as a political cartoonist or artist. However, fate had other plans for him. He stumbled upon an opportunity to become an extra and stunt writer in movies, thanks to his exceptional writing skills acquired on the ranch. Cooper's rugged good looks and natural talent for acting soon caught the attention of filmmakers. He began to secure small speaking roles, eventually leading to more significant parts in films such as the winning of Barbara Worth in 1926. This marked the beginning of a successful film career for the actor, who would become known for his iconic roles in classic films like High Noon and Sergeant York. Thus, the man once known as Frank James Cooper, managing a ranch and contributing cartoons to a local newspaper, transformed into the legendary actor Gary Cooper, leaving an indelible mark on the film industry. After years of working as a stuntman, the actor Gary Cooper realized the risks of this dangerous profession and decided to pursue a career in acting instead. His natural talent and good looks quickly caught the attention of filmmakers, and he landed his first major role in the 1926 film The Winning of Barbara Worth. It was during this time that Cooper's agent suggested he change his name from Frank to Gary. The agent had been inspired by her hometown of Gary, Indiana, and believed that the new name would be more memorable and marketable for the rising star. Cooper agreed, and the name change proved to be a wise decision as it helped to establish his unique identity in the film industry. From then on, Cooper's career continued to soar, and he became known for his strong and silent screen presence. His classic films, such as Mr. Deeds Goes to Town, Sergeant York, and High Noon, continued to be celebrated by audiences and critics alike. Despite the many challenges he faced in his career, Cooper remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He once said, I'm not a hero, but I've played one on the screen. This humility, combined with his undeniable talent, has made Gary Cooper a beloved and enduring figure in the world of classic cinema. Gary Cooper's early film career was marked by his casting as a romantic hero, a role he often owed to the influence of his co-stars. One such star was Clarabo, who insisted that he be cast in the hit film Wings. Cooper's good looks and charm made him a natural fit for these roles, and he quickly became a heartthrob in Hollywood. The actor was also known for his way with women, and he frequently had affairs with his leading ladies. These relationships were often simultaneous, and Cooper's reputation as a ladies' man became as much a part of his public persona as his roles in classic films. Despite his numerous affairs, Cooper was married twice. His first marriage, to actress Veronica Balfe, ended in divorce in 1936. He then married Rocky Cooper, with whom he had a daughter, and remained married until his death in 1961. Throughout his career, Cooper starred in a number of successful films, including A Farewell to Arms, The Pride of the Yankees, and High Noon. His performances were marked by his quiet intensity and understated style, and he became one of the most popular actors of his time. Today, Cooper's legacy lives on, and he is remembered as one of the great leading men of Hollywood's golden age. His films continue to be watched and enjoyed by audiences around the world, and his influence can still be seen in the work of actors today. Gary Cooper's relationship with actress Lupe Velez was marked by tension and conflict. The actor's infidelity, including affairs with other actresses such as Marlena Dietrich, led to a bitter rivalry with Velez. This tumultuous relationship eventually came to an end, but it left a lasting impact on both of their careers. In 1933, Cooper found love again when he married New York socialite Veronica Balfe. The couple had a daughter, Maria Veronica Cooper, and seemed to be living a happy life together. However, the actor's well-known affairs and infidelity contributed to the eventual separation of the couple. Despite these challenges, Cooper's career continued to thrive. He became one of the most popular and beloved actors of his time, known for his rugged good looks and strong, silent screen presence. His films, including High Noon and The Pride of the Yankees, remain classics to this day, and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences around the world. Throughout his life, Cooper was known for his charm and charisma, both on and off the screen. But his personal relationships were often complicated, marked by infidelity and conflict. Despite these challenges, the actor remained a beloved figure in Hollywood, and his contributions to the world of film continued to be celebrated 
and cherished by fans and industry professionals alike. In the late 1930s, Gary Cooper's stardom seemed to be fading. However, the actor made a remarkable comeback in the early 1940s with a series of successful films. Two of his most notable roles during this period were in Sergeant York and Meet John Doe. These films not only resurrected Cooper's career, but also cemented his status as a Hollywood icon. Sergeant York, released in 1941, was a biographical war film that told the story of Alvin York, a Tennessee farmer who became a hero during World War I. Cooper's portrayal of York was widely praised, and the film went on to become one of the highest grossing films of the year. The following year, Cooper starred in Meet John Doe, a comedy drama directed by Frank Capra. Cooper played the role of Long John Willoughby, a down-on-his-luck former baseball player who is hired by a newspaper to pose as a man who plans to commit suicide on Christmas Eve as a protest against society's ills. The film was a critical and commercial success, and Cooper's performance was once again singled out for praise. Despite the success of these films, Cooper's health began to decline in the 1950s. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer, which forced him to undergo surgery and radiation therapy. However, the actor was determined to continue working, and he gave some of his most memorable performances during this period. One of his most notable performances during this time was in Friendly Persuasion, a 1956 film about a Quaker family living in Indiana during the Civil War. Cooper played the role of the family's patriarch, and his performance was praised for its quiet dignity and strength. Another classic film from this period was High Noon, a 1952 Western that saw Cooper play the role of a retiring marshal who is forced to face a gang of outlaws alone. The film was notable for its exploration of themes such as courage, loyalty, and the nature of heroism. Cooper's performance was widely praised, and the film went on to win four Academy Awards, including Best Actor for Cooper. Interestingly, Cooper's health problems during this period added an extra layer of realism to his performances. The actor's physical discomfort and pain were reportedly visible on screen, and many critics believe that this added to the believability of his characters. In conclusion, Gary Cooper's career experienced a significant resurgence in the early 1940s, with notable roles in Sergeant York and Meet John Doe. Despite health problems in the 1950s, the actor continued to work, delivering memorable performances in films such as Friendly Persuasion and High Noon. Cooper's determination to keep working, even in the face of illness, is a testament to his dedication to his craft and his status as a true Hollywood legend. In 1960, Gary Cooper faced a significant health challenge when he underwent surgery for prostate cancer. This was not just any cancer, it had already spread, marking the beginning of the end for this iconic actor. The following year, in 1961, Cooper passed away shortly after receiving an honorary Oscar. His legacy, however, continued to thrive and resonate in American culture. Cooper's career had spanned over three decades, and he had become a beloved figure in Hollywood. Known for his stoic demeanor and strong presence, he was often cast as the all-American movie cowboy or the noble hero. His performances in classics like High Noon and The Pride of the Yankees cemented his status as a cultural icon. Despite his passing, Cooper's influence on American cinema remained significant. He left behind a legacy that transcended generations and continued to inspire future actors. His portrayal of the strong, silent type became an enduring archetype in American culture, reflecting the values of resilience, determination, and moral integrity. Even today, Cooper's work continues to captivate audiences. His films remain a testament to his talent and a reflection of the era in which he worked. The actor's impact on American cinema is undeniable, and his legacy continues to resonate with older adults who remember him fondly. In the end, Gary Cooper's life and career were marked by his unwavering commitment to his craft and his ability to embody the ideals of the American spirit. His final years may have been marked by illness, but his legacy as a cultural icon remains as strong as ever. In the glamorous world of Hollywood, few names shine as brightly as Gary Cooper. Born on May 7, 1901, in Helena, Montana, Cooper would go on to become one of the most beloved actors of his time. His career spanned over three decades, and during that time, he won two Academy Awards for Best Actor. Cooper's big break came in 1925 when he was cast in the film The Winning of Barbara Worth. From there, he became a household name, known for his rugged good looks and charming personality. 
in the 1930s. Cooper starred in a series of successful films, including Morocco, A Farewell to Arms, and Mr. Deeds Goes to Town. But it was in the 1950s that Cooper truly cemented his place in film history. In 1952, he starred in High Noon, a classic western that earned him his first Academy Award. Cooper's portrayal of a small-town sheriff who must face down a gang of outlaws on his own resonated with audiences and critics alike. Just a few years later, in 1956, Cooper would win his second Academy Award for his role in The Bridge on the River Kwai. The film, which tells the story of a group of British soldiers forced to build a bridge for their Japanese captors during World War II, was a massive hit and is still considered a classic today. Throughout his career, Cooper was known for his versatility and his ability to play a wide range of characters. From the stoic sheriff in High Noon to the bumbling everyman in Mr. Deeds Goes to Town, Cooper brought a sense of authenticity and humanity to every role he played. Off screen, Cooper was known for his quiet dignity and his love of the great outdoors. He was an avid fisherman and hunter, and he often spent his free time exploring the wilderness of his native Montana. Today, Gary Cooper's legacy lies on. His films continue to be watched and enjoyed by audiences around the world, and his name remains synonymous with the golden age of Hollywood. From his humble beginnings in Montana to his triumphs on the silver screen, Cooper's story is one of hard work, determination, and the power of dreams. Gary Cooper was born in Helena, Montana in 1901 to a British immigrant father and a Montana native mother. His upbringing was rustic and isolated with the family living on a remote ranch. This early exposure to the great outdoors would later influence Cooper's portrayal of rugged, self-reliant characters. Cooper's father, a judge, instilled in him a strong sense of morality and justice, values that would become evident in many of his film roles. His mother, a former school teacher, encouraged his love for reading and learning. At the age of 17, Cooper moved to Los Angeles to study art, but a chance encounter with a director at a party changed his path. He began working as an extra in films, and his natural talent for acting was soon recognized. One of Cooper's early mentors was director Henry King, who cast him in his first major role in the winning of Barbara Worth in 1926. King saw potential in Cooper and helped him develop his acting skills. Another significant influence on Cooper's career was actor and director Frank Borzich. Borzich directed Cooper in Lucky Star in 1929, a film that showcased Cooper's ability to convey emotion through subtle facial expressions and body language. Cooper's early roles often typecast him as a rugged, silent hero, but he soon proved his versatility by taking on more complex characters. He won his first Academy Award for Best Actor in 1953 for his portrayal of Marshall Will Kane in High Noon, a role that required both physical and emotional depth. Throughout his career, Cooper was known for his quiet intensity his strong moral code, and his ability to convey complex emotions with minimal dialogue. His early experiences and mentors played a significant role in shaping his unique style and contributing to his enduring legacy as a Hollywood icon. Growing up on a remote Montana ranch, Gary Cooper found solace in the world of sports. However, a sudden injury shifted his focus to acting. In 1924, at the age of 22, Cooper was invited to an audition for a small role in a local play by, by Walter. His natural talent was evident, and he was cast in the lead role. This unexpected opportunity ignited Cooper's passion for acting. He moved to Los Angeles to pursue a career in the film industry. After facing numerous rejections, he finally landed a role in the 1925 film The Thundering Hurt. Despite being an extra without any lines, Cooper's charisma shone through and he soon began to receive more substantial roles. Cooper's big break came in 1929 with the film The Virginian, which catapulted him to stardom. His rugged good looks and authentic portrayal of the American West made him a household name. Throughout his career, Cooper remained dedicated to his craft, always striving for authenticity and excellence. His passion for acting left an indelible mark on Hollywood and continues to inspire aspiring actors today. Born in 1901, Gary Cooper faced numerous challenges on his path to becoming a successful actor. Raised on a remote Montana ranch, Cooper found himself at a disadvantage compared to his urban raised peers. He lacked formal acting training and struggled to adapt to the fast-paced lifestyle of early Hollywood. Financial struggles were also a constant concern for Cooper. 
As a young man, he worked various odd jobs to make ends meet. He even tried his hand at professional sports, but an injury cut his dream short. Despite these setbacks, Cooper remained determined to succeed. When Cooper arrived in Hollywood, industry skepticism ran high. His rugged, stoic demeanor clashed with the glamorous image expected of leading men. Yet, Cooper refused to conform. Instead, he leveraged his unique persona to his advantage, embodying the strong, silent type in films like The Virginian and High Noon. Cooper's resilience paid off. He became one of the most popular actors of his time, earning critical acclaim and numerous awards. His ability to overcome obstacles, both personal and professional, remains an inspiration to aspiring actors and dreamers everywhere. In 1925, a pivotal moment came for Gary Cooper when he signed a contract with Paramount Pictures. This marked the beginning of his journey in the film industry. His tall, athletic build and rugged good looks quickly caught the attention of directors. By 1929, Cooper had become a prominent leading man. However, it was his role in the 1932 film A Farewell to Arms that truly elevated his status. Based on Ernest Hemingway's novel, Cooper's portrayal of Lieutenant Frederick Henry was highly praised. Critics applauded his ability to convey deep emotion through subtle expressions. Cooper's career reached new heights in 1952 with his role in High Noon. His performance as Marshall Wilkane, a lawman facing a showdown alone, resonated with audiences. The film's theme of individual bravery against overwhelming odds struck a chord during the McCarthy era. Cooper's performance earned him his second Best Actor Oscar. In 1959, Cooper took on a more introspective role in The Naked Spur. His portrayal of a bitter, obsessive bounty hunter was a departure from his usual heroic characters. This role showcased his versatility and earned him critical acclaim. Throughout his career, Cooper's collaborators often spoke of his professionalism and dedication. Director Howard Hawks once said, Coop doesn't act. He is. This sentiment was echoed by many highlighting Cooper's ability to embody his characters naturally. In conclusion, Gary Cooper's career was marked by several breakthrough moments. From his early roles at Paramount to his powerful performances in A Farewell to Arms and High Noon, Cooper left an indelible mark on Hollywood. His ability to portray complex characters with subtlety and depth cemented his place as a cinematic icon. Gary Cooper, a legendary actor known for his quiet strength and authenticity, had a unique approach to his work. He was known for his meticulous preparation and understated style. Cooper would immerse himself in the character he was playing, often spending hours alone to understand their motivation and emotions. His natural charisma and ability to convey complex emotions with subtle gestures and expressions made him a favorite among directors and audiences alike. Cooper's signature style was characterized by his understated delivery and ability to convey deep emotions with minimal dialogue. Cooper's personal experiences and worldview were often reflected in his work. Growing up in Montana, he developed a deep appreciation for nature and the outdoors, which was evident in many of his films. His upbringing also instilled in him a strong sense of morality and justice, which he brought to his roles. One of Cooper's most iconic performances was in the film High Noon, where he played a sheriff who must face a gang of outlaws alone. The film was a reflection of Cooper's own beliefs about the importance of standing up for what is right, even in the face of adversity. In addition to his acting, Cooper was also known for his humanitarian work. He was a vocal supporter of various charitable causes, including the Red Cross and the United Nations. Throughout his career, Gary Cooper left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. His unique style and approach to acting as well as his personal experiences and worldview, continue to resonate with audiences today. His legacy is a testament to his talent, dedication, and enduring impact on the world of film. Gary Cooper, a name synonymous with the classic Hollywood era, graced the silver screen for over three decades. His impact and influence on the film industry are still felt today. Cooper's contribution to the industry was not just about his acting prowess, it was also about the characters he portrayed. He often played the strong, silent type, a man of few words, but with an intense presence that spoke volumes. This character archetype has been replicated in many films since. John Wayne, another Hollywood legend, was significantly influenced by Cooper. He once said, Coop was the most effortless actor I've ever seen. He'd just walk on the set, and he'd be the guy you saw on the screen. 
Cooper's influence extended beyond acting techniques. He was known for his quiet dignity and integrity, which often came through in his roles. This portrayal of honest, decent characters was a stark contrast to the anti-heroes that would become popular in later years. Martin Scorsese, the renowned director, commented on Cooper's influence, saying, Cooper's characters had a moral code, a sense of duty. That's something we don't see much of today. Moreover, Cooper was a trailblazer in terms of storytelling. He starred in some of the most influential westerns of the time, such as High Noon and Sergeant York, films that explored themes of morality, courage, and individualism. These films set the stage for the western genre and its enduring popularity. In addition, Cooper's contribution to the industry was recognized with two Academy Awards for Best Actor, further solidifying his place in Hollywood history. His performances in Sergeant York and High Noon are still considered some of the best in cinema history. In conclusion, Gary Cooper's impact and influence on the film industry are undeniable. His unique acting style, the characters he portrayed, and his contribution to storytelling have left an indelible mark on Hollywood. His legacy continues to inspire actors and filmmakers today. Gary Cooper, the renowned actor, was known for his quiet strength and understated style both on and off the camera. He was a private person who enjoyed the simple pleasures of life. Growing up in Montana, Cooper developed a love for the outdoors, which he carried with him throughout his life. He was an avid fisherman and hunter, often escaping the glitz and glamour of Hollywood to spend time in nature. Cooper's love for the outdoors also extended to his passion for conservation. He was a founding member of the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation, an organization dedicated to the conservation of America's fish, wildlife, and plants. Cooper believed that it was essential to preserve the natural beauty of the world for future generations, and he put his money where his mouth was, donating generously to conservation efforts. In addition to his love for the outdoors, Cooper was also a passionate supporter of the military. He served in the Army during World War I and remained a lifelong supporter of the armed forces. He often visited military hospitals and entertained troops, bringing a little bit of Hollywood to those who served their country. Cooper's personal values and interests often informed his work as an actor. Many of his films, such as High Noon and Sergeant York, reflected his love for the outdoors and his support for the military. Cooper's quiet strength and understated style made him a beloved figure in Hollywood, and his legacy continues to inspire actors and filmmakers today. In conclusion, Gary Cooper was a man of quiet strength and understated style with a deep love for the outdoors and a passion for conservation and the military. His personal values and interests informed his work as an actor, and his philanthropic efforts continue to make a difference in the world today. Gary Cooper, a Hollywood legend, left an indelible mark on the film industry. Known for his strong and silent screen persona, he became a symbol of the American West. His career spanned over three decades, earning him two Academy Awards for Best Actor. Cooper's legacy lies in his ability to portray complex characters with subtlety and depth. He brought to life iconic roles in films like High Noon, Mr. Deeds Goes to Town, and Sergeant York, leaving an enduring impact on audiences and filmmakers alike. For aspiring professionals in the field, Cooper's advice would be to stay true to yourself and your craft. He once said, the best way to survive a disaster in this business is to stay out of it as much as possible. This suggests that taking breaks and not rushing into projects is crucial for maintaining one's artistic integrity. Cooper also believed in the importance of preparation and hard work. He once spent six months learning to ride a horse for a single film, demonstrating his commitment to his craft. In terms of future contributions, the film industry must continue to evolve while staying true to its roots. New technologies and storytelling techniques offer exciting possibilities, but it's essential not to lose sight of the human element that makes cinema so captivating. In Cooper's words, we're like pioneers in a way. We're out there on the frontier, trying to explore new territory. This exploration should be guided by a deep respect for the art form and a commitment to pushing boundaries while staying grounded in the fundamentals of storytelling. In conclusion, Gary Cooper's legacy serves as a reminder of the power of subtlety, preparation, and hard work in the film industry. Aspiring professionals can learn from his approach to craft and character while also embracing new technologies and techniques to tell compelling stories that resonate with audiences.
Gary Cooper's journey in the entertainment industry serves as a powerful testament to the potential of passion, innovation, and perseverance. Born on May 7, 1901, in Helena, Montana, Cooper's interest in acting began at a young age, leading him to pursue a career in Hollywood. Throughout his career, Cooper consistently pushed the boundaries of traditional acting, delivering captivating performances in a variety of genres. From his breakout role in The Virginian to his iconic performance in High Noon, Cooper's innovative approach to acting left a lasting impact on the industry. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks, Cooper's unwavering determination and dedication to his craft helped him persevere and achieve great success. He won two Academy Awards for Best Actor and was nominated for several others, cementing his place as a true Hollywood legend. Cooper's enduring impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. His ability to captivate audiences with his authentic and compelling performances continues to resonate with viewers today. In the end, Gary Cooper's journey serves as a powerful reminder of the power of creativity and perseverance. With passion and determination, anyone can leave a lasting mark on the world and inspire future generations to do the same. Let's take a moment to appreciate the work of Gary Cooper, a true icon of the golden age of Hollywood. With his rugged good looks and undeniable talent, Cooper graced the silver screen for over three decades. In films like High Noon and Sergeant York, Cooper embodied the strong, silent type, capturing audiences with his quiet intensity. But he also showed his range in more lighthearted fare, such as Mr. Deeds Goes to Town and The Pride of the Yankees. Throughout his career, Cooper earned seven Academy Award nominations and took home two wins, cementing his place as one of the all-time greats. His work continues to resonate with audiences today and his legacy as a leading man is secure. What are your favorite memories of Gary Cooper's films? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's celebrate this iconic actor together. And if you haven't already, be sure to like and share this content with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe for more entertainment history. And